So for now, let's go ahead and get started. You can see the crawler excavator already in motion as it will demonstrate its autonomous capability to dig and dump. And again, this is based on enhanced machine learning. We talked about the technology that is used that you see on the screen, the live onboard camera as it makes the move. That technology generates an optimal excavation trajectory using an AI model that's programmed in to the DX225CX. It uses real-time terrain recognition technology, and that's based on information coming from its LiDAR sensors. And you'll see in the upper left-hand corner if that is the real-time LiDAR technology information. It's also worth noting that the productivity on the Concept X2 system has increased by some 13% from the previous Concept X system. Still under fully autonomous operation here, and it's now going to show us how it can handle a variety of grading and trenching jobs completely automatically with its tilt rotator. We're going to go through four different actions for you here. Center 2D grading, right and then left 3D grading, and finally a couple of passes of V-shaped trenching. The automatic grading work is also possible by setting coordinate targets with that LiDAR-based recognition system. I'm going to let Stephen, our man with the remote control, take us into our next phase. And we call this tele-operation, or quite simply, remote control. It's a very light a unit that you wear around your neck, super easy to control, and he's going to show you a little bit about what this machine can do with a little bit more digging, dumping, etc. And in case you're wondering, these units can be controlled from a long distance, up to 1,600 feet away, and that is more than five football fields. As far as battery life on the remote control unit, if you were to use it, let's say, eight hours a day, non-stop, you'd get about three consecutive days of non-stop eight-hour-a-day use out of that battery pack before you'd either have to replace the battery or recharge the battery. Okay, now let's bring out the DD100CX Dozer. It's going to demonstrate its autonomous driving here using the Trimble Global Navigation Satellite System, or GNSS. That's the new self-driving technology for the, for the Concept X2 Dozer. And I might point out that the autonomous driving is possible only within a preset field, a preset area, and you can see that up on the upper left-hand corner as well. If and when that machine leaves the boundary, it will automatically stop. And keep an eye on the blade as well. Uh, it's going to demonstrate its blade control abilities, and that's made possible with an electrohydraulic system, and again, that Trimble GNSS system, which is using IMU sensors, and that helps keep the blade as close to the surface as possible, no matter what the orientation of the dozer is. It makes it very easy to level the terrain. Okay, now you see the 350 LCR coming into the picture in the background. And Joel Escalante, the operator, is going to plant these railroad ties as we demonstrate what we call the advanced e-stop safety feature on the dozer. The rear of the dozer has a wide-angle sensor, and it automatically detects an obstacle behind the machine. Again, this is in autonomous mode. And whenever it senses an object in the back, whether it's railroad ties or a person or whatever, just like you saw, it will automatically stop. And we call that e-stop. That's a part of this DD100CX dozer. And we're going to have Mr. Hong come out with the remote control on the dozer and show you a little bit more about what it can do. Very, very similar to the remote control capabilities on the crawler excavator. Driving, blade use, the river operations, all of this can be performed 100% by remote control as well as with the autonomous operation.
I think he's waving at you guys in the front row over there. 